Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Tom Mizzle. You watch my channel Mizzle 14 and I'm here to review of Love It Hip Hop Atlanta Season 7 Episode 13 Cowgirls Gone Wild. See, um, it's not really too much to talk about, so I'm not gonna really go all too much into this episode. I'm just gonna give a little vat points of what I see, and that's it. So let's get this out the way. Jasmine and Tierra were sitting there talking together. And Jasmine said that she was embarrassed that Rashida uh, read her in front of everybody. So what do you expect? I mean, you went to her thing. You keep popping up. You want to talk to Rashida. Now you finally got to talk to Rashida. And you just got to dish it out. Rashida let you have it. She told you what she should tell you. And she just exited stage left. So you just got to do it. And I said, you can't be mad. Because at the end of the day, you did this. Like you said, you did this to their family. You slept with Kurt. Know that he's married. So you got to accept the situation. Set the consequences. So, Tierra was sitting there. So, Brittany came and she sat with them, with them, um, with them. And she said she left because she knows going to be some drama going on. And she was upset that Erica was going off and talking um, behind the scenes while she was on stage performing. So, she left before anything pops off. So, she came back and she wanted to get the scoop of what happened. And they decided to tell what um, happened. And Brittany said she was not. She didn't step take sides because she didn't know Jasmine. But now she didn't know who Jasmine is. She saw Jasmine. And I said, Brittany, you was a small one. You said you was not taking sides and you didn't want to just mess. And now you're going to take her side. Whatever. Well, it's what it is. You want to take Jasmine's side, you take Jasmine's side. But at the end of the day, Jasmine knows what she did. She slept with a married man. She got a baby. So she got to step, accept whatever, uh, whatever things that's come her way. So she said she just want Kirk to be in uh, baby life. They said that Kirk was on the baby life in the beginning when she first got pregnant and everything. But after she to find out, he just ghosts. And that's it. So she wants, um, yeah, that's basically that's it. That's done with that. Now, we have Rashida is happy that she put, <laughs> she said she's happy that she told Jasmine off. She told her about herself. She didn't like to her popping up all the time, popping up all the time. And she had to tell what she needed to do. So, everybody got together to go to this dude ranch. Because they didn't go to no hotel or nothing. Because Rashida had this idea they were going to go to a dude ranch. So, they did two buses because she know everybody not going to get along. So, they separated one people and another click. And it wasn't too much. It was back and forth. I'm just saying that Sean and... The bus was Sean and Carly was in. They was bantering back and forth and... It was too much going on. I don't know. They need to stop. And um, so I would try to look at my notes so I don't miss, miss anything. And yeah, Sean and Carly was going back and forth. It was um, arguing and everything. It said, oh, she's too much. I can't deal with her. And she said, you just jealous. And you just this. said, you can't handle me. And you just boring. Carly said, you boring. You don't like to do anything. And Sean said, me, you do two, two different things. So that was like, that's done of that. Um, so one of the buses broke down, so to the, they had to wait for another one. So while the bus waiting for the bus, they was having a good time. They was sliding the parking lot with the carts and taking pictures. They was Snapchatting or Instagram Live, and it was a lot. I guess they had a good time to make the best of it while they waiting for the bus. I guess I would do the same thing too. Make the best of it while you waiting for something instead of being a little bored. So once the bus came, they got in the bus and they went to their do ranch. Now, when they got to the ranch, uh, when they got to the ranch, they arrived at the um, place, and they had keys and the names of the envelopes. And they said they took the keys, and they said, you got to find your own rooms with your keys and see what your keys open up and all that stuff. And they slept, and they slept um, with the bed. So the next morning, when she done got up, she was like, oh, crazy. She just, she made us know that her and Kurt slept in different beds and everything. Because she slept on a bunk bed and he slept on a solid little bed. I don't know who was on the top bunk, but it was Rashida and Kurt. So they was talking about Jasmine. And Kurt was like, he happy that uh, Rashida talked to Jasmine. He realized he needs to put Jasmine in place and tell Jasmine to stop popping up. Do this. I said, that's what you, you need to been doing that. Kurt, if he was doing that, it would have been a reason for Jasmine to keep popping up where Rashida is at. 
If you just handle the situation instead of just giving some child support, that's not enough. Go talk to Jasmine, tell her what it is, and stop letting it affect her because this is crazy. You don't have to have a sheet to fight your battles when you're the one who slept with the girl. You slept with the girl. But she didn't sleep with the girl. So, but he complimented Rashida for handing it as him being professional at the launch party and not going over the, or going bored, not fighting. And he complimented her and he said, um, yeah, he just said he happy. And he said he's glad that Rashida talked to Jasmine in a professional way. So she curbed the situation. She said she didn't want to talk anymore about Jasmine, all that stuff. They got on the left and they went to go eat. So this was the whole big of the episode was was at this this ranch where they all went down and had a um, eat out a cook out uh, at um cook um went to go eat basically and they would sit down join them circle but she didn't want everybody to squash their beef to get along to have a good time and not bickering squash any issues they have so they were sitting down and they was talking and all that stuff again and then First of all, before they uh, went there, right? Before they went to the ranch, they a uh, group of people. It was Carly at their jock, then it was Erica, it was Estelita, I think Spice and stuff like that. Tokyo, they all was driving in this thing, going towards the place that Rashida had where they were about to eat and have entertainment. Carly, being messy as she is, was giving a flirtatious hug to Jock right in front of Sean. I said, Carly, you need to stop, girl. You doing way too much. But Carly is how she is. It's no drama. It's no entertainment why Carly there. She had to do something. So while they were driving, I guess there was a bulls trying to overcharge it. And they, it was nowhere near them. But they started getting up and started getting rowdy. They started leaving screaming. All that craziness. So when they arrived there, they all sat down and talking. And then Spice... Before they had entertainment, was pistol packing uh, Paula, and she was ripping them guns and all that stuff. I said, "Oh, go ahead, lady." And after that, they went to eat. So they sit down. Spice and Tokyo started arguing, and Tokyo was saying that she had no problem with Spice and everything, but Spice came at her and everything at the place. And Spice's problem is the main thing that Vice Spice has, because she said she the reason why she was going after Tokyo is because Carly told her that Spice. No, that Tokyo was talking about Spice, talking about her. So that's when she came off at her. And she was like that, Carly being messy because Tokyo said, no, that's not what happened. I didn't talk bad about you and everything. It was the situation. I said, yes. I said, I give a fuck about whoever Tobias was dealing with because her issue was with Tobias. It's not with Spice. So she would say, I told you every single time that I had no power with you, I had no power with you, but you kept coming after me, you kept coming after me. So, and then... Uh, Spice problem was that she didn't like that uh, Tokyo threw a bag at her. And she always talked about this person. I said, you forget, you failed to forget that you were j jabbing at the girl. You were taking digs. You was always coming at her. You was on 10 through that sit down. And Tokyo was not cool. She was cool with you. She was calm. But you kept coming at her. So that's why she threw a person at you. It's not like she just threw a person out of nowhere. It made it seem like she just came in there and said, wow, and didn't like you. Like so, they started going back, going back. What pissed Spice off when Tokyo said she called her a bitch. She said this bitch came at me, and so to Spice came up, threw her whole plate of food at Tokyo, was charging at her. The security was already there, stopped on them. Um, Tokyo was on the ground. She said, "Get off of me! Get off of me!" And Tokyo was called, it's like she was like her beats come out. She said, "Get off!" Of me. They were trying to calm Tokyo down because Tokyo tried to get up. They pinned her down on the ground. She said, get off of me. And Spice, they got Spice in the van. And they was going at it. Go back and forth and try to calm them down. And in the midst of it, Esther and Sierra going at it. So it was like, hold up. And do, oh, before that, Sierra, uh, Spice was calling Sierra a hypocrite because Spice said when she was talking to Sierra, Sierra said, yeah. It was wrong for uh, Tokyo to throw a purse at her. And then when she was sitting down, now she's saying that, yes, Spice was jabbing at Tokyo so she would like to defend herself. So she said she would be a hypocrite and everything. So I guess Esselina took Spice's side because she said she had a power with Sierra before. Because remember last season when Esselina jumped on the scene, Carly threw a plate at her. And I guess somehow on the side, Sierra and um, Esselina started um, going back and forth from 
hands together. They was throwing hands. They showed a clip of it. So, Sierra and SD started arguing. And SD said, Yo, throw your stuff in the middle. It like, had nothing to do with you and all craziness. And Sierra said, What's going on? What happened? Carly and then Sierra realized how messy Carly is because Carly was to say something to Spice that took the all, which was totally not, was not exactly what Tokyo said. And every time when people say that, Oh, Tokyo did talk about Spice. No, Tokyo did not talk about Spice. She was angry about the situation, about the aspect of a little woman in the situation. So she said she don't give a fuck about whoever involved, meaning Tokyo, whoever girl he did it with. I mean, if you in a um, relationship with somebody and you broke up, and then somebody coming at you telling, uh, oh, your man or your girl is going to talk to somebody so so, you say, I don't give a fuck about who she is. I don't give a fuck. You would say that. So for everybody to say, oh, she talked about spice. No, she did not talk about spice. She just said that she was upset and she was mad at the situation. Everybody, she told Carly would keep coming at her instead of coming to her side. She took, uh, she sat at the dinner table and do her business out there like that. And it was like, especially when somebody and her is just fresh and broken up. It's like, yes, fuck whoever, fuck him, whoever he dealing with. So that's what Tokyo was coming for. She was not just talking about Spice. So, but Carly flipped that around. And told Spice that Tokyo would talk about her. So, see, um, the next day after everybody calmed down and stuff, and the next day, Sierra was telling, um, said she was trying to squash the beef between Tokyo and um, Spice. And Spice agreed to have sit down with Tokyo, but um, it didn't work out. So, Rashida said, you know what, I have a kit fire in it on. Can we all sit down and please have um during that time we can squash the beef then that day if you can get Tokyo and Spice to talk. So after everybody calmed down, we'll get back together for a campfire. Cause she went she wants everybody to sit down and have a good time. Basically that's what she what she wants. I don't know why people do that because you know in a reality TV show, you every time you try to get a group big group of people together who don't get along, people take it clicks and everything, it never goes well. So, I don't know what she was trying to accomplish. So, Jock and Carly had this little scene. Um, Jock is funny. They two together, they is, they funny. I mean, Jock was saying he was trying, he didn't know what was going on. He was farting and everything. The food, and Carly started laughing. She said, you were farting? He said, yeah, I was farting and all that stuff. And then he talked about her father. And anyway, every time, Carly said every time her father's name was brought up, uh, she started crying. And she said it was hard. He still don't want to come to land, so she's trying to take care of everything. And it's a lot of um, weight on her shoulders. So she broke down and started crying. And Jock was like, oh, my God, I don't want to deal. He knows, oh man, he said he didn't want to deal with this emotional stuff. So he started farting. And Carly started laughing because she smells it. And it was, it was a way to diffuse the situation. It was like, yeah, Jock is who Jock is. He's a funny character. So they continued went on. With their business so melissa sat down with tokyo and melissa wanted to get tokyo to see how this came about and get her side and everything she said she's not taking sides but she just wanted to sit down and talk to her so tokyo went to explain the situation and exactly what tokyo said tokyo came to the dinner table sitting there was cool calm and collected she was not going all she didn't give any bad vibes Spice the one who's going off. Spice the one who's giving digs. She was talking about her weight. She was talking about her eating. She was talking about, oh, who you? Talking down at her. So, after all the time she was jabbing, 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 Toka couldn't take it anymore. So, she got up, and that's when she threw her purse. But, Toka explained to us, to explain to us that what took her there is that she said it comes to a point when she was trying to separate violence from her name. I guess in the past, they... Tokyo was known for always acting up, always being violent. And she trying to move that. And so it took a step for her forward for doing that. So when she was at that table sitting down with Spice, it made her step backwards and always regress to what she was uh, regressing about. Moving forward for. So she kind of upset for herself that it took her there. 
because she didn't want to go there because she said she would have hurt Spice if it would go there. She said, I've been called fat before. I, I love who I am. I'm not ashamed who I am. I got girls come to me every day saying, you inspire me. You are beautiful. And Tokyo is a beautiful girl. She's not ugly. So like that. So she was up just upset that Spice kept coming at her, coming at her. And she just took it there. And she was upset that she went there. So that's that. And Melissa understands. So she said, Melissa said, if I could get to Tokyo, can I, if I could Spice to sit down and have a conversation with you, will you be willing? She said, if Spice would have a sit down and have a winning conversation with me as adults, we could. So this is a night in the campfire. Rashida was there. Melissa put them together. They got the meeting. They agreed to meet up and everything. And Rashida said she wants those two to hash out because it's they could it's not really an issue between those two. It's mostly to bias, but it happens, so they hashed out. Spice, the whole thing was, was the same thing that earlier. Like she said the reason why she was coming after you because she was so uh, Carly was telling me that you was talking about her. And Tokyo explained what I said earlier is that Tokyo was not really directly talking about Spice. She was just saying she didn't care who the hell Tobias was talking about at that time. So she said, fuck who, she, who he was talking to because I don't care. And that's what it was. Carly twisted that and told Carly that she said, she said she don't give a, she don't. She said, fuck Spice, when she don't even know Spice. And that's what Tokyo said. I don't even know if I have a problem with you and everything. So they go back and forth, back and forth. And then Spice said, that's when you threw a bag, you threw a bag at me and went left from there. And Tokyo said that the reason why it was, it would happen is because you kept coming after me. You kept jabbing, you kept jabbing. And it was, it took it there. So, and the midst of it, Tokyo was, uh, excuse me, y'all. Uh, uh, Tokyo was talking fast. And I guess Spice thought she said she had said she uh, said a b word, said a bitch, but she did. She was talking fast, and Spice said you just so down and talking to me because I understand what you say. And Tokyo said you just I didn't understand half of what you be saying on that on language. So Spice said I'm gonna be a big woman, and I'm gonna apologize for what I did and coming at you. Okay, we can be a bigger person. We can have fun. We can squash it for now. And it will be any problems between us. And Tokyo said, good. And Spice said, just don't call me a bitch again. Tokyo said, that's how I talk. You can call me a bitch and we can be happy. We can have, we can have kiki. We can talk. We can, have, we can laugh about it. I don't care. So, that's what's that. And this was the night in the fire. Um, open the air. But she just said she wanted to bring everybody together and have a good time. And squash and whatever. And out of the open, can we... Put that to the side and go off and um, have a good time while we're here. So, this one, um, she, that's when she mentioned that Tokyo and Spice made up and they decided to put their differences aside to join the trip and anybody else coming out there, uh, but um, anybody else's issues need to be at the forefront. So, she said about Estelita and Sierra because she said she was kind of confused at what happened out there. So, Estelita said that. She she have a problem with Sierra but her, put herself in the middle of situations. And that's the same thing that happened between her and Carly. Sierra just throw herself in a situation. And Sierra um said something and she would try to say something but it got cut off. I guess that's the end of the episode because it cuts right there where as they said, if you want to pop over, it'll pop off and Sierra said something, um, well, it's a place of opportunity. You could do this here. And that's how to end it. So that's my view of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Like I said, it was too much. The bigger part of the episode was the fight and the kid, uh, fight between Spice and Tokyo and they, the after effect of that. So if you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My channel is Mizzle14. My name is Tom Mizzle, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.